Mitchell, Sasha here at IQ 2010 in London, and we're taking a look at a device that we already saw during the Uplink conference, and we have a guy from Qualcomm who's going to tell us everything about it. So, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Hi, my name is Sai Chaudhary at Qualcomm, and what we're showing here is our mobile development platform running the MSM 8255 Snapdragon mobile processor, and we're showing a variety of different demos on this Snapdragon processor. So, if we look down here, what we're showing first is the video decode capability at 720p HD video uh, decoding on the platform itself. However, it's also got HDMI out, so if you look up here, you'll see that it's showing the same thing on the screen using HDMI out, but it's actually two different uh, images. If you look back on the, uh, the, the here, when I pause it here, I can overlay different controls and have a user controllable, which is not reflected up on the screen itself. So I'll go ahead and you know, pause that, start that, and that's really showing a video uh, decoding capability. Fantastic. You come over here, one of the things that the um, MSM 8255 processor has is a 2D core as well as a 3D core. And so what we're showing here is, you'll see that th uh, buildings rendered by the 3D core and the line and the mapping and the, the UI rendered by the 2D core. So by having both a 2D graphics processing unit as well as a 3D graphics processing unit, you could really get the best, best of both worlds and have very low power consumption while rendering very rich graphics. Okay, fantastic. And over here we have another little game that just shows you the performance of this play, right? Exactly. So th this actually focuses more on the, the 3D core, and I'll start this casual game called Elo Milo. And we will, uh, okay, we'll start here. And you can see the very rich uh, 3D graphics that you could uh, develop using using an OpenGL API, very standard API, as well as the 3D GPU that's built into all the Snapdragon processors. So actually, you could even use this platform in a kind of mobile gaming rig, right? Like a Nintendo DS or a Sony PSD, because I mean, the performance is amazing. Absolutely, the, the, the functionality of the 3D GPU is equivalent to a PlayStation 3 level of graphics functionality. Wow, that's fantastic. So that's pretty, pretty high end. And last but not least, again, we're talking about video capability, and I think these are 4 720p playlists, right? Exactly. So what we're looking at, actually, what you're looking at is a 720, or, or it has up to one 720p uh, capability, or the subset of, of that. Okay. So you're actually looking at a subset of four different decodes uh, happening at the same time. And, but the nice thing is, of course, as you can see, you can, you can pause them, you can play them, and, you know, this is a nice way to get previews when you're uh, checking out a new movie, or you can do picture-in-picture, picture, uh, web page as well as a picture, etc. That's absolutely amazing. Okay, now the big questions. Well, we are going to see the first devices in the market. Well, actually, this is uh, pretty pretty amazing that the Snapdragon MSM8255 processors, the first handsets on the market, will be announced this month and will likely start shipping later this month in September or early October. Fantastic. Thank you so much for walking us through. Okay, Sasha for NetworkNews.com, Qualcomm IQ 2010 London. Thanks for watching. Thank you.